Hey everybody, it's Brittany. I'm a volunteer for the Serapis Warriors Foundation. The last couple of days we talked about ways that we can stay calm in any situation. This could be referring to a warrior because sometimes our reaction to things is more intense because of the amount of pain you're in. And this also is good for caregivers because we can get really frustrated with medical professionals and the way they handle things sometimes. So the last video I talked about five ways that you could be calm in five minutes. Today I'm just going to share a couple of tips and ways that you can try to have that calm effect that aren't really something you can do anywhere. So I wanted to bring them up so everybody knew what they were if you want to try them at home. One is sleep is very, very important and we can combine this with aromatherapy. Lavender is known to have that calming effect. You can also get necklaces where you can put the lavender oil in them so that that scent is with you whenever you need it. But this can reduce stress and anxiety and boost your mood, and it can also help you have better sleep. So these two things combined can help us to have a more calm effect overall. Number two is going for a walk. If you just separate yourself from the situation, you're going to be in a new environment, a change of scenery. Breathe in that fresh air and just clear your mind. Take five, 10 minutes, take a walk or however long it needs, depending on the situation and come back with a whole new perspective sometimes. Number three is meditate. And the practice of meditating actually changes your brain over time. So this helps you to be able to manage your emotions better overall and to be, and to be able to stay calm. So the more that we can practice the meditation, over time, it will really benefit us. One of the studies I read had said that when you feel like you're going to explode or you're overwhelmed with that stress emotion, if you close your eyes and imagine yourself calm and what it feels like to be calm, it helps you bring your body back to that easier and quicker. Number four is to surround yourself with positive people. We all know that one negative person that no matter what you say, they're just going to flip and turn it into a negative. We might even dread being around this person. Negativity is a way of just creeping itself up in you. No matter how hard you want to stay positive, sometimes you just can't. The more positive people you're around, the better off you'll be. So if we can't completely cut off these negative people and influences, then we should at least try to limit the time that we spend with them. Number five is admit to yourself that you're anxious or you're angry. Don't Try and push it down and say, no, I'm not, or this or that. Acknowledge that. Validate it within yourself. So label it, express it, get it out. Six is my favorite that I talked about in the first video, which is listening to music. Sometimes we have that song. We have that song that the lyrics fit us. Either, I mean, I have songs that lyrics that fit me in every emotion. So in a time like this, you're going to want that calm one or the one that makes you feel empowered. We all have that song. So crank it up. Put, put it, your headphones on and jam out and recenter yourself and then come back and you'll be coming back a calmer person. Number seven is write it down. We all have those times when we're too upset to talk about something even though we need to because we don't really know what we feel or we don't want to say some things that we don't mean. So if this is the case, we can always grab a journal and write down what our thoughts are. This way we're able to get it out at least, get it out of us somewhere if we can't do it with another person. Number eight is to squeeze a stress ball. For me, mine is to play with my hair. And you can do this with anything. You can, um, it could be a rubber band that you're going to snap on your wrist. It could be a ring that you have that you like to twist around. Anything that's going to kind of ground you and bring you back to center. It really can be stress relieving and help to calm ourselves. And the last one that we're going to talk about is seeking social support. I don't know if you have that one friend that you can tell anything to. They don't judge. They don't even um, necessarily need to like give you advice. They just listen. So if you have that person, give them a quick call. And that helps you to get that out of you and it lets you feel heard and feel validated. If you don't have a friend like that, maybe you have a therapist or somebody else. Well, so those are a couple other things that we can do that can help us deal with these things. For me, I kind of look at uh, the first five as maybe a Band-Aid. They're quick, they're simple. Sometimes they work 
completely. Sometimes they just act as a band-aid. They're gonna get you through wherever you are in public until you get home. And then we can try some of these things that are more extensive to be able to cope with and work through those negative emotions that are making you feel uncalm. So hopefully some of these can work for you. I will keep a lookout for any new ones that I haven't mentioned and update you guys on them as I see them.